I am obsessed with the difference that lipstick makes to your state of mind. Basically, I'm trying to preempt any reason why a woman won't wear lipstick and give her no excuse. For Lipstick Queen, we get both the lipstick devotee, who's already convinced she loves her lipstick, but more importantly, we get women who feel like they don't know how to wear lipstick, or they're scared of wearing lipstick, or they want to wear lipstick, but they want to be able to really have choices in textures and the detail. Every nuance in a colour has a totally different emotional landscape. So Velvet Rope for me is the culmination of 22 years search. In that it is the oh, super high pigment lipstick that feels like you're wearing nothing. What I wanted to do was deliver that beautiful 1940s Hollywood glamour in the packaging and, the, and, and also a very 1930s idea of colour. It's just a whole culmination of incredible new technology and my obsession with glamour of past eras. When I create a lipstick, it comes as a total concept and it comes mainly from talking to customers. And I hear about sort of what their concerns are and I try to find ways to address that using my imagination. So for example, um, a lipstick, this one here, called Butterfly Ball. It's a super sheer lipstick that has a turquoise tinge in it that when you wear it, it does have the effect, the iridescent effect of a butterfly wing is super flattering on the whites of your eyes and on your teeth. I'm really going for it in terms of being able to make very unusual colours, doing things with the lips that are so different but yet still glamorous. My definition of beauty is using your imagination. I think all beauty stems from imagination.